Hello, everyone. Why don't you go ahead and lead? <laughs> Good morning. Uh, we are here for another day of appointments to hopefully get approved for another cycle of the clinical trial medication. It's an early, rainy Wednesday morning at City of Hope. Typically, these appointments are later in the day. We got an earlier one today where you get your blood drawn earlier, we see your doctor a little bit earlier, and then hopefully take the medication at the clinical research building and get out of here with some day left. That's the hope. Um, Bird. We've been through a uh, range of emotions past couple weeks and then leading up to this appointment. Even though we're not finding anything out at this appointment really, no, yeah. it's just, um, it's been hard. I'm just terrified of having cancer. Oh, my tummy's crawling. I'm terrified of having cancer. I don't want to go to more cancer appointments. I don't know what it is. I think it's writing in the cards. You know, I write to the kids and Kyle as if I've passed and it's really hard mentally. It messes with my mental health and it makes me feel really scared that I am go going to. And I do it because I want them to have my words left behind to go back to when they miss me or they're lonely. And I just don't want to be here today. I keep crying this morning and he's like, babe, there's nothing going on today. It's just a normal appointment. Easy day. No, no scary appointments today. And it's just, I'm sad that I have cancer and I don't want cancer. I hate it. I don't know why I have to have cancer. It's so scary. Some days, if you have cancer, if you did have cancer, you probably know what this is like. Or some days, it just totally scares you. You know? Yeah. Other days you're fine and you can live life and enjoy it. And some days it's just terrifying. It's always terrifying. It's always terrifying. But we've learned but to... But some days are worse. Yeah. And then Ellis was emotional this morning. He wanted us to take him to school. And I told him he should be grateful that Pops is there to take him. I said when I was a kid and I didn't have an adult available to take me, we just got ourselves ready. Went on the bus. And went on the bus, yeah. And he looked like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> I said, so you, at least you have Pops. He just, Ellis loves routine and he was bummed to These not morning, have us there. These morning ones always change up his routine. Yeah. This bird is so cute. Let's see if I can film it. There it is. Hmm. Hello, little bird. I stopped filming the bird because someone pulled in the spot by <laughs> the bird. <laughs> I keep getting caught filming. It's really funny. Just gonna own it, man. Last night, Ellis had a uh, performance at school. I think that triggered things as well. It emotions. Always, it always does. These school events, I go to them and I see these normal families. I'm sure we look like a normal family. No one knows what anyone's going through. But I see these normal families and I imagine all these moms are gonna be there for their children through all of the grades, you know, and I just, I'm so grateful to be here for another grade, first grade, but I just wonder how long they're going to have me there for them. I want to be there to support them when they're scared of the next grade. I want to be there to help them with homework. I want to be there to help them do their hair for school. <laughs> no offense, Kyle. No, okay. I want to be there. Outfit choices. To help them pick, yeah, clothes and shoes, back to school shopping. And then as the conversations come up through school as they get older, mm -hmm. you know. Get... When, when he starts their first period. Yeah. When they go through puberty, I want to be there for all their questions. 
There's nothing like a mom. But Ellis was great in his performance. He was so cute. It was a patriotic performance. And <laughs> he wouldn't practice any of the songs at home or sing them to us because he was, he's like, you have to wait till the performance. He's not a performer. And <laughs> so we knew it was patriotic. So we would just be at home. God bless America. <laughs> and singing different patriotic songs we could think of. And he'd be looking, how do you know that? Why are you singing that, how Dad? How do you know that? Else we know all these songs, too. We're American, too. It's You're funny. a grand old flag. But they were so cute. Yeah, it was really cute. It was fun. I slept terribly last night because of pain and nerves for today. I don't know why I'm nervous for today. Might I add, because sometimes it's sad, but... You have a hidden zipper pocket. Do you know that? It's so cool. It's so cool. You okay. took all of your pain meds that you could possibly take. You know what I mean? And you're still getting these pain spurts. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm going to ask my pain management doctor if I should up the 24-hour dose of medication or the as needed. What does he recommend? Yeah. Because the pains, you guys know how I'm in pain a lot and it affects how I sleep. It's weird. It's like if you were to look at an overall chart, your really good days are really good and the bad days are really bad. It's almost like there's less of an in-between now, I yeah, would say, it seems, right? Mm. It's either like, I'm feeling pretty good today. I just cleaned the entire living room. Or I feel awful. I don't know. And you're taking the doses you need to and you're trying to stay ahead of it. And I don't know. It's rough. Mm. But you've been... I always want to get footage of it for for them to see. What? The way you've been trying to sleep lately. Mm. And I don't feel like it's like kind you to film, you. You can film me. I wouldn't there. be offended. Maybe I'll get try to get footage of it because you're the sleeping positions she's having to do right I've now. I've been having to sleep. I have a pillow with me in the car. Pretty bad. I've been sleeping with a stack of pillows in front of me and I and lean forward on the pillows to sleep. And I can't stay that in that position for that long because my legs will go numb from being bent, I think. So I have to reposition, but then I'm not falling asleep in the repositioning. You said last hurts. night was horrible sleep? Not good. No, I didn't sleep well at all. Yeah. Partly, probably because of nerves, but... I was also scared, yeah. Your pain has been pretty bad at night. It makes me wonder if more fluid is building up. Because one of the pains was up here where the fluid hurts. The only reason I would challenge that is the last scan showed that the fluid was reducing still and you haven't had the same comments that you used to have when the fluid would start to build. You knew. You'd say, oh, it's building, Kyle. So, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know when because I don't know when my next chest scan is. But... My next chest scan is like end of March or beginning of April. Every heart we ever the kids the the kids are with my dad. My dad will take Ellis to school. Hopefully we're out in time to pick up Ellis from school. And then we need to go to the craft store tonight. Last year for kindergarten, for St. Patrick's Day, the all of the students built a leprechaun trap and brought it into school. Ellis and I built it together and we had so much fun. It was so it was such great bonding. I love arts and crafts. And Ellis isn't the most arts and craftsy kind of guy, but he was really into this leprechaun trap because it was for school. So he was so into the glitter and the glue, and I loved it. But now, this year, his teacher said, We're doing it in class. We're doing it in class as groups. So can you send supplies? So I'm like, Oh, yeah, I'll send supplies. He said, Ellis, you need gold glitter to trick the leprechauns into thinking coins are in your trap. <laughs> She said paper towel rolls, so we, sh we could save those. Mm -hmm. um, we'll go through a lot with Shiloh and my sis. I never knew this leprechaun trap life. I didn't. No, know we didn't do it when I was a kid either. But I think it's cute. Yeah. It's raining here in Southern California. Again. It was stormy all night. 
It's like the seventh day in a row. I feel like we live in the UK. Man. <laughs> I could use a little break from the rain. There's the rain and City of Hope. And the bird is still visiting us. But now it's on someone's car. car. Oh, cute. He's a rebel. He says, look, I'm a hood ornament. Oh. oh. This should be available at all work facilities. Great idea for pumping mamas. We are on our way to the Briskin Center for my clinical trial medication. Yay, I was approved. You got approved for the next cycle. Ho hopefully it goes well. Yep. Just want to take a moment to recognize how handsome the sky is. Okay. Wow. Believe it or not, I am not tech savvy. I know I have a YouTube, which makes it seem like I know tech stuff, but I don't. And my cam cam the, the, the camera is showing a weird grid on the screen. And I don't know why or how to get rid of it. And then it was doing a weird thing the other day. We couldn't figure it out, but it was just pushing the down arrow that made it go away. Mm. But now I'll push buttons, we'll figure it out. I'm out and it's only 11.30 in the morning. Yay! That means so, we get to go see the babies. So thankful for those AKA days. AKA the kids. We get to go pick up Winnie. Um, we can probably run an errand with her before we pick up Ellis from school. And then we were thinking of picking up Ellis and do a spontaneous like dinner. Dinner out or something? Yeah. I'm just so happy just to see the excited. kids, I yeah. miss them. Today went well, my appointments are done. I was approved for the next cycle of clinical trial, as you saw. Um, I told my doctor that I was scared because of what happened to my friend passing suddenly. And he said, that's why they do all these tests and everything on me is to look for signs of that coming. And we're not seeing any signs of that coming. And he said, don't worry. I will tell you guys if it looks like that's coming. And he said, right now we're good, so. He was very honest with you today, and he always is, but, and we were just shooting the breeze for a little while. We were telling jokes, and he was, he was, he was happy. Funny. But um, you asked a hard question that you were afraid to ask. You got a little teary and emotional in there. Mm. But you basically said, like, I have this fear because of the friends that I've been developing in this world and losing some of them so suddenly. I go nowhere. I have the, oh yeah. I have this fear that it's going to happen to me, you know, and he was, great question. Yeah, you know? it was very nice. And he said, we do all these scans for that reason, we take your blood for that reason. All the tests. I check your, that's why I ask you all the questions I ask you. We're going to see some signs and, you know, I'm not, a sh he said, I'm not shy or afraid to say when it's, it's looking like we're not, you know, but he said, we have so many therapies, continue to learn about new therapies, and... We need to look up those articles that have been posted. Yeah, we do. He said there were new articles for lung cancer posted this past February, this February, and so... I have a goal, because I feel like he would love it, since he's a data man. Mm hmm I would like to try and read... He wanted us the to. ...the thing that he published. He, it sounded like he what wanted us to. What is it called? To. Resistances? I forgot. I'm going to look it up. And I'm going to see if I can find it and read it and then go and talk about it. I think he we'll would love it. We'll look it up. I'll be able to, I think I'll be able to think resistance, of it. Something like that. Rise something, of the resistance. Something resistance. <laughs> I'll the be able rebel to think base. of it. He was talking about something about, gosh, man, it was a fancy word. but That he wrote an article on it recently. And that came up because I asked the question, if the next scan reveals that blue is not the best decision for us, What's next? Is it straight to chemo? Because that scares both of us. Chemo is rough and it's hard. Um, and he said, as he always said, as he always says, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But they'll do tests. They'll do tests. Probably retest. Probably rebiopsy. They'll check the something resistance. I forget what it's called. See if the uh, possible tumor has mutated to a different gene mutation or something. And just figure and, out where we're at and from go there. from there. Yeah. So there's no way they can answer that right now. He said they're always thinking. But. He really reassured us that we're still looking positive and, you know, He's we're so okay. Nice. And he kept saying, no, no, no. He we're... did say I should start up therapy again. 
because mm-hmm. I told him my therapist moved and I haven't had a new regular therapist since then. And you were asking kind of some dark questions and he said, maybe <laughs> he we could should. could tell I needed some help. Maybe we should look into getting you some help. And, and he, so he said they'll recommend some people to me. Yeah. Overall. I always put it off because I've had one fill-in therapist since the, my favorite guy and no one's the same as him you know we were such a good mix the way we talked and worked things out that i'm just like afraid i'm gonna waste my time with from my experience this one that i have now is so great i feel so and you loved your last one and i love my last one so there's someone out there for you okay you just have to find them yeah yeah you will okay great appointment great day and so grateful so grateful for your team and your doctor I told them that the bleeding started again and basically I will see a gynecologist again if I keep bleeding she'll do another ultrasound and they were saying that there would possibly be a DNC in the future if it keeps happening which is what a lot of you said in the comments so I thought that was really interesting you guys are smart (laughs) yeah that's why I love YouTube yeah we get great insight Overall, it was a great day. I'm so happy that we're leaving. So thankful for today. And let's go get our kids. Yay, let's go get Winnie. Yep. Let's go. Yay. We're on our way home, or to pick up Winnie. And look at the mountains by our house. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. You guys, I think Elsa might have moved to our city. It's snowing again. Do you guys see the snow? And look at the wind. What is that? It was windy last night when I couldn't sleep. What is going on? Do you guys see the snow? Where do we live? I think we live in Arendelle. (laughs) This is such weird Do you want to build a snowman? (laughs) It's snowing. It's snowing on us again. Look at the little snowflakes on Winnie. What? They're little balls. On my head? On your head. <laughs> oh, the weather outside is frightful. But we don't have a fireplace. That just landed on my camera. So fun. When Kyle was taking out the trash the other day, a piece of cake <laughs> fell out and landed right there on the driveway. Or sidewalk. Look at him side eye me. And I told him, You have to pick up your trash or your cake. He said, No, the rain will wash it away. <laughs> and a crow was just eating it. How cute. It's almost gone, Kyle. See? Maybe we thought the cake piece will get wet and so. That's what Daddy thought. That's what I thought. Back off of my cake. It's my cake. It's my cake. You left it for me. Back off of my cake, I tell ya. He's not eating it, he's just guarding it. He said, what is this, buttercream? <laughs> no, it's more of a whipped cream frosting. That's nice and light. That's really nice and airy. <laughs> That's good, I'm gonna get him a bite. <laughs> Daddy, he's He's got a nice little snack and a little water to drink here from the fresh rain. Mm. What a nice day. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Ooh, you guys know how I said that my screen was showing a graph or grid on it? And I didn't know what to do. I pushed the down arrow like the other problem I had and it went away. So I figured it out. <laughs> I have not filmed all evening and that is because I forgot about it. Um, we are back from the craft store. I got this giant canvas to paint something for Winnie's room. I got felt to make Ellis a Pete the Cat costume for Friday because it's reading across America week at his school and you have to dress up as a book character you like and he picked Pete the Cat. And then I got stuff for his classroom assignment to make leprechaun traps. This is just for all of the students to share and split up. 
rainbow popsicle sticks, because what leprechaun doesn't like rainbows? Green glitter. Gold glitter. And these like large gold sequins to trick the leprechauns into thinking they're coins maybe. I should have got more of these because I also really liked them. Oh well, maybe I'll go to the store and get more. Today went well. Um, I forgot to say about my appointment. Today was the last time in the clinical trial building or the Briskin Center is what they call it. Um, as long as I, even if I continue blue, my clinical trial medication, I won't have to go there. So I have scans coming up in two weeks, one in two weeks. And as long as those show that blue is working, the clinical trial is working, then I will continue it. And I still won't have to go to that building because I have shown that I can handle the medication. So I don't need to keep being observed the way I have been. And obviously if the scans show it's not working, then I'll go on to something different. But as of now, that's the plan is to continue and I won't have to go to that building anymore. Yay, because it means it's working or like my body's handling it and sad because I'll miss uh, the, that building. Everyone's so nice over there. But moving forward. <laughs> For the evening, we got home and I tried to nap, but I could not get comfortable. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I'm not afraid of my pain meds anymore. I take them just as they're prescribed and I'm still in pain. I don't know why. <laughs> and so I don't know if maybe I need to up it or try something different, but it's, it's definitely a lot better. The pain has been a lot better since I've stuck with this pain regimen, but it's still bad some days and I just couldn't get comfortable so I couldn't really nap, I was in and out of napping, but it almost made me feel worse. And then we played with the kids, we had dinner, played with the kids some more, and then Winnie fell right before bed and started crying. And she, she said, I can't calm down, I can't calm down, which was so cute. I said, that is great communicating, Winnie. She said, what I really want to help me feel better is if we all sleep on the couch like when we had the flu. <laughs> I said, okay, let mommy film an outro for her video. You guys do story time with daddy in the room and then we can all sleep on the couch. So we're gonna set up beds on the couch and sleep together as a family. It's sweet because it reminds me of when I was first diagnosed. We used to do bedtime for the kids. One of us would be with Winnie and one of us would be with Ellis and then that was right before I was diagnosed and then once I was diagnosed we were scared and we just always wanted to be all together and so we would all go into Winnie's room or we'd all go into Ellis's room and we'd do all of the bedtime together the four of us until the kids fell asleep and sometimes we'd stay with them and sometimes we wouldn't but it reminds me of that so I'm excited to all sleep together tonight it'll be like old times and I really need to get this therapy figured out because I'm realizing how much, how down I am from, and shaken up from my friend passing. It's really gotten to me. I'm just so heartbroken. And, and it also scares me for my situation. I feel better after talking to, talking to my doctor. He definitely helped me feel better, but I need, I need therapy. I can't keep putting it off. It's my fault. I keep putting it off but I will get better and I will contact the person that they recommend for me. Today's spirit day for Ellis at school was wear a shirt that relates to your favorite subject. So he said he wanted it, something that relates to math and because he loves math, he's really good at it. And so I looked on Amazon for some math t-shirts and there was one and it's seven, the number seven and the number nine and it's they have faces and sevens taking a bite out of nine. And it's that joke, why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. And I showed him that, I said, what do you think of this? He thought it was hilarious. So he wore that today, super cute. His teacher liked it and then, or that's what he said at least. And then tomorrow is pajama day. So he wants us to find his Black Panther pajamas. 
we might have to do laundry for those because I don't I don't know if they're clean and then Friday is one of your book characters that you like my eye looks like I'm getting another sty I think it's not technically styes I think it's really just the rash they the rash has these whiteheads that pop up all over I think it's just the rash making whiteheads pop up on my lash line and then they burst because they resolve themselves very quickly it doesn't last as long as a regular sty so I think it's that Ugh, I'm so tired I'm gonna go so the kids can come make beds and we can all sleep together and I will see you guys soon I don't know when I'm filming next but I imagine in just a couple days <laughs> all right I love you guys I hope you are doing well oh we picked up our PO box today and you guys sent the nicest stuff cards letters gifts there's something about handwritten cards and letters that are so I don't know nostalgic it's so sweet it's like pen pals <laughs> and then someone sent a little angel that was really sweet just lots of nice things so thank you guys we appreciate everything you guys are so kind and generous I think that's everything I wanted to say to you I love you and appreciate you all I hope you have a great day I'll talk to you soon bye